So let us start drawing the locus of a point P, which is rolling on a circle of diameter 50 mm on a straight line. So the procedure for drawing is very simple. First, we will take a circle. For that, we are drawing the axis line. Go to the circle command. Draw the diameter 50 mm circle. Next, I'm drawing the straight line, trimming the unwanted edges. I'm drawing the straight line which is tangential to the circle and the length of that straight line is equal to 2 pi r. So since the radius is one, uh, 25 mm, the dimension for this is 157. Right? So here I'm This is two star pi star small r. So this is two pi r. So next the circle this one which are constant. I'm just changing the color for understanding. I'm dividing the circle into eight equal parts. So I'm using P type, I'm using this point and the point size, I'm keeping this as three and of three. Divide the circle into eight equal parts. So this is the eight equal parts. Next is from here. I'm extending the center line as well. And dividing this center line also into eight equal parts. Right? So this is your basic. Now I'm starting to name the points. Rotation angle zero. So point P, this is your point P. This is the center of the circle C. Starting from P in the clockwise direction, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are the points on the circle. And starting from C, the center line into eight equal parts we have divided. So C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7, and the final one, C8. Next. After this, the next step is drawing the straight line. So in offset, keep the perpendicular on so that it is shown. Straight line from one, two, three, and four. So this is the procedure. Next is, so the circle itself is rolling and this is a point P which is in contact. Now this point will move in different positions and again come down to this position, right? So the radius of the circle will remain the same. So what I'll do now with center C1, I'm taking the radius of the circle 25 and marking the point which where it is intersecting the line through one. So that is your point P1. Next, move this center to point C2 and it will intersect the line through two at a point. This is your point P2. Next, move this to C3 and mark the point of intersection of the circle and line through three. Next, move C4, line through 4. 
next e5 line through 5 next c6 line through 6 next c7 line through 7 C8, the last and the final position, line to 8 for the final point. Now, this is the final one. Next, go to the text command, single line text, rotation angle 0, and name this as your point C1, C2, C3. C4, C5, C6. Be careful where you are writing C7 and the final point C8. Now go to the draw toolbar, use flying command, start from point P, C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7, C8. Come here, right click. Enter. So this is your cycloid. So I will use pedit command. Select this cycloid. Right click. Enter. Change the width. 0 0.5. So this is your cycloid. The next one is drawing the tangent and normal to the cycloid. So what I am doing, I am choosing a point 35 mm. So, draw a tangent and normal at a point 35 mm from the base. So, I am taking a tangent. So, I am using offset command, enter, the distance is 35. From the baseline because this is the baseline this is the point so i'm using point enter this is your point m so i'm changing the color so that it's easy for us to identify please do not use colors when you are actually taking the printout fine so this is at a distance of i'm marking 35 i'm marking this one as Point M. So now with M as center, the same circle, whatever we have left, move this center to point M. So the center of the circle is point M and the radius is still the radius what is specified for the circle, 25 mm. So this will intersect this line at the center line at some point. So that is your, this will intersect somewhere here, right? So that point, I'm marking this as Q. Next, from Q, drop a perpendicular to the baseline. So this is your point N. This is your point N, and from N, draw the tan normal. This is your normal, and then extend it. Extend it. So, name this as N dash. So n and dash is your required normal. Now use the rotate command. Select the object, right click. M is the base point. Copy it because you don't want the original object to be deleted. Copy and then rotate it by 90 degrees. So this is your tangent. You are rotating the normal 
what you are getting is your tangent. So name it as T T dash and select these use p edit command multiple because I want two lines to be having the width. Right click, enter, go to width option 0 0.5. So this is your tangent and normal. Now select all the lines. This tangent normal, everything is in. Everything is in white color. So please shift it to white because by taking print out this yellow color is not recommended. Now, whatever is there, delete this extra parts. We don't need these extra parts. It's fine. Trim. Okay. Delete. Fine. So the next part is go to the dimension. This is your this distance is 35. So as you can see, it's coming as 35.0. So for our understanding, what is this? Go to the standard annotation, manage dimension styles, modify, and here in the primary units, I'm using the precision as zero. And this comes as okay. So change it to so this is your cycloidal curve. So this is a very simple curve. Now this is a thing. How to take the printout? I don't need the question. I just have to fill up the template. So next is go to plot. So here what I should do, I should select AutoCAD PDF and here and see 297, ISO 297, what to display, window, so immediately it will ask you which window to select, so it is up to here, select the complete window, center the plot, landscape and OK. So where do you want to save it? You save it in your folder somewhere. See? Yes. Fine. So that's your plot job complete. And this is your cycloidal curve. Fine. Please note down the steps. Thank you.